Mr. Speaker, the section that I was quoting brought by Orengo and Kiraitu, the senators who chaired the committee, 44, it says, subject to this section, there is established an integrated electronic electoral system that enables biometric voter registration, electronic voter identification, and electronic transmission of results. Mr. Speaker, I listened to your deputy, the deputy speaker and the senator from Moranga, misleading the House in every material particular, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, what is now trying to amend that section, Mr. Speaker, is to create confusion. And Mr. Speaker, good lawyers like uh, Senator Orengo will tell you that when you want to create mischief in law, you start using words like notwithstanding, subject to, and so on and so forth, Mr. Speaker, without prejudice, and all these colorful words that give you the law and then take away the law. Mr. Speaker, I want to tell this House and the country that what Section 44A in the bill passed by Parliament National Assembly is trying to do is to oust the provisions of Section 39 and Section 44. And go back, Mr. Speaker, to where we have run from. It is very embarrassing, Mr. Speaker, for a government that calls itself digital to start running from digital to manual. Mr. Speaker, in history, electronics came to cure the weight and shortcomings of manual work. But now, we have a government that is trying to take us back to manual and you don't need rocket science to know what they're trying to do, Mr. Speaker. The dead voters are still on the roll. And all they're trying to do, Mr. Speaker, and we know, Mr. Speaker, that the flawed issues of identity cards in the country, some regions in the country, Mr. Speaker, under eight children are being given identity cards. In some parts of the country, Mr. Speaker, you apply for an ID card, you wait for six months, you don't see it. And what we are trying to do now, Mr. Speaker, is to give discretion to electoral officers, Mr. Speaker, that when an underage voter goes, or a ghost voter goes, and this has happened, that's why last election, Mr. Speaker, in certain constituencies and polling centers, some candidates were getting 112% of the registered vote. Mr. Speaker, and it has been said clearly, Mr. Speaker, that voter cheating in this country is very high in central Kenya, in Nyanza, and in Rift Valley. These are the epicenter, Mr. Speaker, of the theater of theft of votes. And we must, Mr. Speaker, fight so that at the end of the day, when I go to elections, if I win, I must win fairly and be happy about it. If I lose, I must lose fairly and congratulate the winner. That is the integrity, that is the integrity of elections, Mr. Speaker. I want to urge this House, Mr. Speaker, that if you really want to be a house that we have described as an upper house, those of us who are itching to vote instead of debating issues, Mr. Speaker, I have seen some yawning and looking very impatient, wondering when the vote is going to be called so that they can exercise the direction they have been given and go home. I want to tell you, Mr. Speaker, that that vote will come to haunt you and haunt you and haunt you, Mr. Speaker. What is because, it? Mr. What Speaker, is it, Senator Wangari?